to my channel and um, I'm Emma from Emma's Life and it's let's get no it's not it's let's I don't ever know why they're using it's my series it's <sighs> let's talk Wednesdays um so go and get yourself comfy I've got myself a big thing from I got myself Tea. So I suggest you go put the kettle on, make yourself tea, and I'll come back and I'll wait. Are you back? Good. So in today's Let's Talk Wednesday the video, I'll be talking about my Christian testimony. I think I've briefly touched upon this um, a few videos ago but I've never actually sat down and explained in more detail to you guys so I hope you enjoyed this video so let's get started um, I always, when I was younger I did go to church, I was around church but at that young age I didn't really understand that you know there was this God and going to church I didn't put two, two, two and two together um, I was obviously young at the time so, you know, I didn't feel as connected to God that I should. Um, I think I left, I stopped going to church when I was about 11, 10 or 11, I think. I, do, I haven't gone to church for a very long time. And throughout these years, I didn't really think about it so much um, during secondary school and then going to university and then you know, moving on with my life, but after I finished university the first time, I felt, I felt very lost and I wasn't sure what, where my life was going, I felt, and I couldn't explain it, and I felt this, for this, felt like that for a very long time. Um, I think I was 24. 25, I think, when I first started looking at different religions. I think the other religion I was looking into was Buddhism at the time, and I thought, oh, yeah, that's a bit more me, and you know, but and then I was, I thought, yeah, that's the religion I want to go into, so I stuck with that for a while, and then it wasn't until I think it was end of last year. I was starting to think, oh, what about if there was a garden? You know, and I, from that I didn't think much to, much of it um, until I think we was in lockdown and all this coronavirus happened, and I actually started to think of more about Christianity and being a Christian. And I was watching lots of uh, Christian YouTubers. I was watching. Uh, Roxanne Morgan and things she was saying it just made a little bit more sense and I think from listening to others um, I thought yeah being a Christian is for me so once uh, the church has started to open up again I've got literally a church at the end of literally as the road from me so it's like a minute walk so, I mean, I did have a look around at different churches on the time because I couldn't go anywhere, but I felt this one, because I started to go to this one and I felt this one was, this church by me was more for me and my, I felt more connected to uh, this church and I don't know, I just woke up one Sunday and I just felt this extra love that I didn't actually feel before and I, it was more about it more from God this time so I remember getting up getting ready on a Sunday going to this church so I went to this church service I mean I've been to I think it was one years and years ago I'm backtracking now guys so I think it was one Sunday I think it was sometime last year I went to East Church and I don't, I don't know I just didn't feel 
as connected as I do now. Um, so yeah, that's I've been going for a while now. Um, I think it's I can't even remember when the church is opened. But yeah, going back to that Sunday, I woke up, went to church, and then all I know was that I had to go and buy myself a Bible. So after that service on the Sunday, I went straight into Birmingham City Centre and I got myself. I've actually got it here. I got this Bible, um, and then the King's James version I've got. Um, as you can see, I've got some notes, sticky notes, and I'm currently reading the Palms, and I'm doing my Bible studies of Palms. <coughs> Psalms, not Palms, what am I on about? The Psalms, not Palms, guys. Obviously, um, but yeah, I've been doing that for a while now. So I'll be doing, I think I'll be doing a, I'll explain what I'm going to do at the end of the video um, with the Psalms reading. <clears throat> but yeah, getting back to the story. So yeah, I've been going there for a few months now and I'm really enjoying it and I think uh, Monday, well Sunday, Monday morning, I had this dream, I know it's probably going to sound weird to some people, but I had this dream and that the, uh, God set me, sent an angel down to me. She didn't say anything to me, um, but she, God sent an angel down into my dream to let me know that he was with me and everything's going to be alright and he's got a plan for me. So yeah, um, that's my Christian testimony. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, also, going back to, I'm thinking of doing um, how I Bible study, and I'm thinking I'm gonna um, study do a uh, Palm 25 study with me. I mean, I've already studied it, but I'm just gonna talk through it and you know that Palms really spoke to me. So yeah, I thought I share my take on on it with you. Um, and I'm also going to, once I've finished reading the Psalms, I'm going to do how the Psalms changed my life. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that notification button wherever it is. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Talk Wednesdays, um, my Christian testimony, and I'll see you later. Bye!